today I have got my thoughts on the 31081, the modular skate house. And you guys know I picked up two of these back in June. And finally got around to building one of the copies that I have. And the second one probably won't be built until probably November, which I know is next month, but might be November, November's build. Then again, it might be the Jurassic Park set for November, I don't know. Probably won't be the creator set since I just did the main build for this month's build. But we'll just have to wait and see. But we'll start out with the minifigs. We've got the male figure on a plain lime green skateboard with a really nice torso piece that is relatively rare now at least for me and I just I really like that torso it's a really nice civilian one and then I think this hair piece I don't know if it's new but it's at least new for me and so that's really nice, and I think that's a really nice minifig for that one. And then you've got a female minifig with a relatively older torso. I would I kind of consider this one an older torso, even though it's probably in a lot of newer sets. I just think it goes back to some of the 2009-2010 tank top torsos that they had for minifigs. And the female has a bike helmet on. But she also comes with a hair piece. So you can decide to have the helmet off or on. Same with the hair piece. Which I think I'll probably just give her the hair piece. And just because that gives me a spare bike helmet. For any minifigs wanting to take their bicycles out to the obstacle course. Which is probably what this is going to turn into once I build the small build for this set which the set went together pretty straightforward other than the fact that I was missing about three pieces from the set and had to replenish those through my own parts but other than that the set went together relatively quick for a creator set which usually creator sets don't usually um, go together this quickly for me so that's really that's a good thing <laughs> but now I'll just spin it around to the interior which honestly could have used a bit more detail but for what you get it's perfectly fine but really I know it's quite dark but you just got a TV on both levels of this building which is kinda of surprising and then just a radio on the other side of the one building of the one floor and then you've just got a couch or bed with a printed 2x2 two two tile there representing some sort of race game or something but that's what you got for the interior most of this set is exterior details which I understand with this set because this front side is the reason I wanted this set in the first place I didn't really care for the interior even though it is quite nice I didn't really care for it I wanted it basically because of the two-story section because it looks like an obstacle course and I can finally integrate an American Ninja Warrior thing into my city which I've been wanting to do for quite a while and this set was part of my inspiration to actually starting that and getting that into my city so that's why I got two of these to make a kind of a, make a big ninja area in 
my city, but you guys can tell me your thoughts on the main build for this creator set in the comment section below. And possibly expect one last Lego haul before Cyber Monday. I had a $25 Target gift card. Didn't know what to do with it. And then somebody gave me the idea for getting this one set that I'd been wanting to get. Even though I wanted just one thing out of the set, I figured I'd pull the trigger and get the full set. But I'll go into more detail on that in the haul video that will be coming soon. So you guys can just wait for that and tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below. And just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.